Hi everyone, I'm Joe from the Nerd Herd, and today we take a quick look at the new Android Lollipop developer preview. So when we first reviewed the other Android L release, we highlighted it was not ready for everyone to use because it did present some bugs and issues. However, we really can say that for this second developer preview. Almost everything is now butter smooth and I haven't had any kind of bugs or reboots or anything wrong with this new software. Google has made both visual and practical changes everywhere, resulting in a more colorful and, at the same time, more cleaner update. Animations are awesome, they're beautiful and fast, I've never seen this tablet perform so well, not even when I first bought it. The implementation of Project Volta doesn't seem to have improved battery life, but well this tablet already had a great one so I will not complain. The ROM comes with very few apps pre-installed, lots of which are really old ones like music or gallery or the old browser, and that's because Google wanted to make this preview as light as possible, ready for developers to test their apps. It's interesting to notice that I haven't had any compatibility issues with any of the apps I've installed, so I've been able to use all my everyday applications. Many of them, however, have also been upgraded to match the material design in Android Lollipop, so you will find the new Google Now and Google Now Launcher, new animations in Play Newsstand, the new clock, the new contacts app, etc. Notice that the launcher now has some sweet animations both for the app drawer and the folders on the homepage. The camera app is basically the same, but it seems to perform a little better if you ask me. However, photography has never been Google's best feature, so don't expect anything crazy here. The multitasking has been upgraded too, and it is now much more colorful, much faster and much more enjoyable to use. I've also noticed that now the search bar stays active in the multitasking too. In terms of visual changes, you'll also notice that the icons on the nav bar and the ones on the notifications bar have been slightly modified. Speaking of the notification bar, you'll have again the delete all button, this time at the bottom, and a series of new features such as manager for the notifications, which is really welcome, and an option to select the active users, and that's fundamental, especially on a tablet. Overall, what this release shows is that at Google they've really paid attention to detail, everything seems to fit perfectly in the general scheme, and I have to say that using Android Lollipop is a really pleasing experience indeed. So that's been it, thank you for watching, we'll link the download page in the description so that you can install it on your Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 2013 and don't forget to share this video with your iOS friends to let them know what they are losing, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll see you next time!